here is the game. We can see that uh, we have one guy who is ready, that is me. And we have some symbols which are coming down. And soon some other engineers are coming up. And you can see that when they press uh, their own letters, this is actually a player on their own computer. Uh, it's all networked, networked on a backend and on a front end. Uh, basically, we have to play and make music together to solve this uh, incomprehensible transmission that we have received. The gameplay time is about five minutes, uh, so we're going to just show you how it works. You see that it's getting more intense slowly. The same song is played all across all the players and in the middle there is a bar, a bar showing the progress. We are starting to decode the transmission. Did it remind you of anything? Okay, let's continue translating this transmission. Ah, it's getting hard. <laughs> Okay, one guy is gonna substitute me because it's hard to concentrate on talking and the same play, in time playing. Yeah, every one of the players uh, controls a different instrument, and uh, basically when they press it on their own screen, uh, the sound plays. We have almost translated the, the message. Uh, the game keeps getting harder and harder. At the latter levels, it's very hard, as you can see. It's uh, almost overwhelming. Uh, we had a concept basically to uh, avoid players greeting by just spamming uh, their own keys. The, the idea is simple. If uh, you miss uh, the timing and you press it very far away, you just the sound is uh, heard very much lower in volume. So if some player, if some player tries to grieve by spamming their own keys, they don't have fun. Oh, we have translated it. Let's see what is going on. Actually, the music that is playing at the back right now is what we should have been trying to make playing it. So it's not exactly um, like we did it, but we still beat it. Um, I want to say uh, a few things about um, what the um, deeper idea of uh, the game is. Um, obviously, we have a cooperative multiplayer game. Uh, but the interesting thing is that um, if uh, some kind of a sound editor uh, is uh, built, people can uh, design some sort of simple music like that and challenge their friends or other people uh, on the internet to play it. Uh, I know there is a Super Mario uh, level design, something like this. Um, and so it, will, it can be really fun to uh, make something and then challenge your uh, friends to try and play it and beat the game like this. And uh, let me see if uh, we had some more... Uh, oh yeah, uh, because uh, the, each player controls a different instrument, then um, the instruments are picked in the order in which you log in. So, uh, for example, if we are at the same place, if I want to be the drummer, I can say, please uh, let me log in first so I can be the drummer. Or if uh, we play it over the internet, uh, you'll, you'll never know uh, which instrument you'll be playing because uh, 
you wouldn't know uh, at which time you log in. So this gives it a bit of a diversity and you can play with different instruments and uh, just uh, have more fun. Yeah, uh, if somebody wants to try it out, you can. Does someone want to play? Please.